Hey everybody, Kelly Sue with Cleopatra Art Studios where we teach kids and families how to paint and create together. And today we're gonna to make a porch leaner inspired by our bunny painting from our bunny box. So you can watch along now and paint later. You can just catch the video. It'll stay in for a little while. Hey Miss Sydney, would you get me pulled up? So Sydney is here prepping some kits in the background so you're gonna hear a little bit of jostling around. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to just trace around a plate, any plate for the size of the bunny head. You can free paint it if you want, or free draw it if you want. I can go this way a little bit. You can free draw it if you want. Um, but those of us that aren't comfortable with our circling abilities, what we're gonna do is we're going to just trace around the plate. So I have this awesome stencil from Essential Stencils that says spring and hello. And so I'm gonna save that for the end. So then you have to decide, does your bunny go off the page a little bit or are you seeing the whole booty of the bunny? So my bunny's gonna go off the page a little. So just a little bit overhang. And I just, I'm using kids chalk, guys. Super easy. And then his body is just curved lines that go down. So you decide how big your fella is. How do I know he's a fella? I'm gonna give him a bow tie, because I think it's adorable. So I'm gonna paint that bow tie later probably, but it'll just be basically that shape. Let's talk about ears. He can have just standard straight ears that go up, or he can have the floppy ear, which is like our wood um, product or wood bunny that's in the bunny box. So I'm gonna do the flop. I'm gonna do the old floppy roux. And so let's see, this is just chalk. I like to say bunny ears are kind of like flower petals. They're just gonna be curved lines. You're just gonna do a frown and a smile and you got it. Actually, I don't like the inside. So it's just kids chalk and we can just go in and make a little wavy line for the inside of his ear. This ear is gonna kind of flop a bit. And I'll do most of it with paint. He's pretty cute already. I think he's got, he's got <clears throat> inferior ear disorder. <laughs> this one's a little chubbier. Remember, I'm painting to the side so I won't be able to see, you know, all the imperfections that you will, but I still think he's just going to be adorable. I just feel like his ear can be adjusted here. There we go. Ta-da. So I'm not really worried about every, anything right now, like any of the details, like the eyes, the nose, the mouth, the flowers, that'll all come. So I just, all I did was I took my porch leaner, this is a four foot porch leaner, and I painted it with a really watery teal because I personally like to see the, um, all the knots and the little parts that make wood wood. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So I probably won't be able to see the comments until after, but I will definitely type my responses in. So I'm gonna need a bigger paintbrush, three quarter flat. I think we're gonna go with some white and black and make ourselves a gray real quick. So Easter is so fun, but I think by um, just omitting the Easter eggs on this one and just making them all the, um, the reti or what are they called? Vernaculous flowers that you could really make this a spring porch liner that can be out all the time. Hey Sid, do you have the white? Mm -mm. It's right here. I filled it up. So I'm just making a basic gray with white and a little bit of black. Quite a bit, because wood is thirsty. And all I'm doing is going around my lines. And then I'm going to fill it in, up and down. So pretty simple. I think you all can do this. The biggest part is drawing. And if you draw around a plate, you're going to be golden pony boy. 
Ready, Sid? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Sydney, do you like Easter? I actually love it. I love the whole concept of it. So we always spend Easter, really? Because you're making it sound like I'm having a bad bean day. I'm sorry. <laughs> don't apologize. It's hilarious. I'm almost done. <laughs> She's like, I don't care, Mom. Um, we always... <laughs> it's too funny. We always spend... Sorry, we're just keeping it real here. Play Pastor Art Studios. Um, <laughs> we oh always spend Easter at my mother-in-law's, and she goes next door to her mom and hides all the eggs, and she doesn't let anybody snoop. Oh my God, for God's sakes, girl, fill it up. Sorry, sorry, sorry. She good, she's good. You notice good. how she doesn't stop doing it though, right? She's over there with her evil smile. Looking back at you, waiting for you to say something. Yeah, not gonna happen. That's not one of my, mom, that's not one of my triggers. Moms, you know what I mean? You have those triggers. Having 50 kids in an art class, Screaming, running around. Yeah, that's not, that's not a trigger. One of them being mean, that's a trigger. I like to eat my kids' candy <laughs> at Easter. You ever wonder what happened to the face of that bunny? <laughs> what, that, you like the, the ears. Yep, I like the ears, but they started like in white chocolate. Yummy. Yep, not a fan. So I made sure that I covered up my background. Now you could paint it you know, solid and uh, multiple coats if you don't like the blue showing through. I'll totally leave that up to you. He's a chubby, I'm a chubby chaser. He's a chubby bunny. All right, sis. Me? Yeah. Sorry. She's sorry a lot, you guys. <laughs> you gonna come in and say hi real quick? You guys all asked me, did Sydney move with you guys? And she did. She's here. We <laughs> can see right up your nose. Thank you. You're welcome. I'll come back here. I'll come back. You can always say, I'll say hi to Miss Sid. Hello, Miss Sid. No, they're saying hi to me. No. Okay. Oh, so this does not take long if you're thinking, oh, this is going to be a three-hour event. I'm not going to hang. I'm just going to check it later. This won't take long at all. Um, if we are doing this at your house, we do this in garages, you know, with five ladies at a time or so right now, unless restrictions lifted, I'm not sure. And um, I would say plan on, if you were sharing hair dryers, plan on two hours. Except that one time when it was winter and paint just wasn't drying, that was a three hour project. I thought you just said there was a three hour long project. It was not. It was only because the paint was not drying. I feel like I would love to have a bigger paintbrush at this point. Oh, or big Ugly. At the studio, we call this paintbrush Big Ugly. It's just a chip brush because it's big and it's ugly. Yep, perfect. That's what it's about. Feeling creative, getting in, getting out. What kind of paint am I using? I'm just using artist paint right now. Um, I think it's a combination of Dick Blick. <clears throat> Dick Blick? Yep, a little bit of Dick Blick and Artist Loft. And then I'm gonna use some craft paint later. Why craft paint? Because it has a little bit more better coverage so I don't have to keep applying paint over and over again. Now I am gonna give the bunny a second coat so he's not so gray. And people are always asking me, why did you paint it gray first? Why didn't you just paint it white? And my response is, well let's imagine you took out a razor and you shaved your bunny's hair off. The skin underneath would be a color. You could do yours pink or whatever, um, but I do mine gray so that when you go over it with white, the gray still shows a little bit, but the gray covers it. So we're just using our bunny from the bunny box as inspiration. What's our bunny box? Well, it's a box you'll get delivered to your house with two ceramic eggs, one to keep, one to give away, um, one wood, bunny and sand and ribbon, and one pre-drawn canvas 
um, of our spring bunny. And I think we're pretty much sold out other than I think we have five kits left. And for $65, we send that box to your house and they're going out tomorrow. So most people will get them in two days. I like to take the love around town, around the sides. Let's do the ears. I'm gonna go back into the painting with my three quarter flat. Oh my gosh, I love, love my bendy ear. And I'm just going around my shapes. I am going to make this a little more rounded though. So it's not such a lethal weapon. <laughs> You could paint the whole bunny ear this light gray if you wanted to. Oops, I'm going to do that. That way I'm getting a nice base coat for that pink magenta inner ear. That's super cute. Bunnies. What did you paint the other day ago? I painted a snowman. Oh, the sea turtle. No. <laughs> no. Okay, that's we're not showing that one. No. All right. I didn't. So I'm gonna take a filbert. Oh, these are my good filberts, though. You know what's gonna happen if I bring out the good filbert? I'll bring out a bad filbert. And I'm just gonna come in and paint my bow tie white. It's not perfect right now, but. We'll get them there. Art's not supposed to be perfect. It's supposed to convey emotion to the viewer. And I hope when somebody looks at my bunny, makes them happy or makes them smile. I'm gonna put them out front. Oh my gosh, this street has, you guys all know we moved. This street has not seen as much action from the delivery people. As but what us. did we see yesterday? Oh! Okay, it's awesome. So yesterday, guys, we got meese. We got two, two mooses, a mama and a baby moose. Beauregard, the bass, and you guys have watched enough that you, you've seen Beauregard. He wouldn't come, we, we walked him in the front yard, and he just wouldn't come and he wouldn't come. He was just kind of chilling. He wasn't like salivating or anything. He wasn't scared. He was just chilling and looking at something. And I was finally, I was, it was dawning on me, you know, he's not coming and he's, he's motivated by food typically. And I had a little milk bone in my pocket and it wasn't working. I think the bone needs to be bigger. And so I decided to get off my butt and go see what he, what was happening. And it was a moose getting ready to cross the road. And so <laughs> I ran inside. Woo. Hey everybody, grab the cameras. Okay. I didn't run. I shuffled quicker than normal. Um, and when we went out there, there was a baby too. So there was a mama and a baby moose. I think the bow is a little lopsided. Let's make it, we're gonna kick it out. Distraction. So how old do you think that moose was? It was kind of tall. The baby? Yeah. Uh, well, it's spring and so they're having babies, so that would have to have been last year's baby. So a year? Okay. I'm guessing. I'm not a moose expert. If you're a moose expert, chime in. Tell us what you think. I mean, I, I, with it being March, I think they're getting ready to have babies. We're going to see baby deer. Maybe. Maybe we'll see baby deer. Super cute. Um, I'm going to start decorating the top with some flowers. And then this is a four foot porch liner, but my stencil is for a five footer. So it's going to say hello at the top. And so how am I going to get around that? Give ways. I'm going to really cram my letters. So I get these great stencils because you guys know that I'm not um, a cricket girl. Um, and I put a line where I'm going to start. I'm going to scoot it this way. And I'm just going to cram my letters in. Just really cram them in. And I've already pre-measured, so I was really happy. 
um, that they could fit. A six foot stencil would not fit on this, guys. It's gonna be so cute. Love it. So I am gonna start on some of my flowers. And I have a little bit more room to put things at the top. And I'm gonna just show you how to make these really easy flowers or a lot of fun. Pick some colors. I have, I'm gonna put purple. No, purple's gonna be for the lettering. Should I do blue flowers too? Okay. Blue. Well, right now I have orange and magenta. I have orange and magenta. So I'm just gonna keep it like that. I like it like that. Okay. They're just globby flowers. I really like them. And you just, you put them on there and you come back and you add some swirls and they're ready to go. Oh, this paint. Hello, deco art. Maybe I should have shaken that one up first. Um, and then I'm gonna put some purple inside. I'm going to grab some blue and yellow and make green leaves and we're good to go. So all I'm gonna do, if you can imagine with the chalk, all I'm gonna do is do just kind of blobby flowers. They can overlap if you want them to. Um, that placement sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm gonna do three or five. And the reason why is your eye likes to see odd numbers. It gets it all jacked up, gets it really excited. And that's what art's about is to make the viewer excited or make them feel the emotion. Okay, so I'm gonna do one in the middle. Big blobby flower, like a little blobby flower on either side. Pretty simple. I'm gonna grab my pink. Pink's gonna be in the center. And you may have to add white the first time and you can just mix it in. If you find that your color is not covering up the background as much as you wanted it to. So coat one. And I'm gonna mix a little white with it. For first coat, second coat, we're gonna make it gorgeous. So, rinoculus flowers. They're, okay, let's call them peonies because, you know, that's kind of what they look like. Do you like peonies, Sid? Um, I prefer sunflowers and tulips. Yep. She's very particular. So, guys, if you're a suitor, bring your A game. She wants sunflowers or tulips. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> well, I'm here to help. <laughs> Um, I My daughter's single. These are the flowers she loves. <laughs> okay, so I have a spot marked where the letter is going to start, but I'm also going to put hello. I'm just going to put it there in the corner up top, but I don't fit. So I'll put it, I'll put it here. So over here, I have a little bit of space because I know I'm going to start right at that line. So I'm going to go ahead and do the, the five. We talked about three or five. I'm going to do five. kind of big fluffy clouds and you nailed it. Oops. Okay, I guess this is where our flower is going to be. Ta-da! Now, I could do my bottom flowers right now, but remember, I want to give our big boy here a second coat of white. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my paintbrush out. Acrylics dry really quick, so if you left your paintbrush with paint in it, it'd probably dry by the time. Oh, I missed. Uh, by the time you got around to it. So we have the new studio space. Oh my gosh, it has carpet, which was doing fine. We've been in the house two weeks now, three weeks. Yeah. And um, I already have several areas <laughs> with paint, guys. You knew it was coming. Um, but sorry, the house um, has some stuff we need to do to it carpet's going to be the last thing, but I want to paint the walls. I'm thinking kind of a deeper turquoise. What do you think? Let me know what you think, if you think that's a great idea or not. So my bunny is completely dry. Painting on wood's a whole new ball game. Things dry pretty quickly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in and paint everything white. 
And so the gray will show a little bit. And so we got that depth, the shading for the bunny without putting in a lot of effort. So it's a little cheat, but that's okay. Now, if you want a gray bunny, make them gray. If you want a gray background, make it gray. We'll, blah, 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 start over. We will be in Maple Valley in a couple weeks. So if you're my friends from Maple Valley and you want to schedule a party, let us know. We can come to your garage, backyard, and it'll be after Easter, but I have some summer porch cleaners that are just fabulous. And we try to keep them at a decent price. If you go to, you know, the fancy places, we're not, newsflash, we're not fancy. <laughs> um, they're about $75, $85, and we make them $55, at least this year, because you know, COVID sucks. Sorry, people. Hopefully they didn't offend you. <laughs> um, a lot of people are wanting to create, but they're not. Uh, maybe they don't have the funds they used to. Maybe they their hours got cut or no job whatsoever. And we dropped the price of our kits to $15 instead of $25. This is so cute. I just love it. So if you're just joining now, we're making our spring porch leaner. So the cute bunny with a cute tie with some flowers in the background, inspired by our bunny box. And this is the canvas you'd get in the bunny box. It'll be pre-drawn and it'll have a video instructions. You also get the wood, cute bunny, this one's kind of cranky, uh, sand and ribbon, and then two ceramic eggs. You're gonna paint one, keep it for yourself, and you're gonna paint one and gift it to someone else. So most of the um, bunny boxes have been purchased by parents for their kids and they just don't wanna get out candy this year. But I have some adults that bought them too. And we've had a lot of asks, like can I just get four canvases? Yes, they're $15 each, $60 and then shipping. Um, can we get four wooden bunnies and that's it? Yes. They're so cute on the mantle. They're so cute on your table. Don't put them outside in the garden because um, unless you have special paint, that would be bad. Because um, this is just MDF board that we make. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if you're just joining us, that's not me and a can of beans. <laughs> that's Miss Sydney. She's getting some kits ready to go out the door. It's so nice to have her. Miss Giselle is still in Maple Valley. Obviously, she's not my kid, though she feels like my kid. So she did not come with us, but she's creating kits there. So we're still servicing Maple Valley. But um, we get a discount for shipping. So I think about what would it cost you to get four canvases sent to you? I'm guessing, um, $60 for the four canvases and $7.50 or $7.95 probably, probably less than $8 for the shipping. And you get a video tutorial, you get the paints. Well, not everybody needs a video tutorial. A lot of people are like, just give me my paints and let me go at it. And that's awesome. Um, but some people do want step-by-step -step instruction. And that's fine, that's what the video tutorial is for. Well, I'm seeing that I'm leaving some stress marks because I did forget to not switch to my bigger paintbrush. And um, all you have to do is go over them really lightly and they'll go away. So, three quarter flat is known for its paintbrush strokes. Just gonna go back to my chip brush have to have anything fancy. You don't want to bring out your best paint brushes for painting on wood, guys. It's crazy to paint on wood. Hey guys, thanks for watching. So we'd love it if you'd sprinkle the love today. What do I mean by that? You share it with friends so they know what we're doing here at our new place. We're hoping to paint the walls soon. I just had a land on a color. 
it's hard when the trim is oak. Now, as somebody that just came from white trim, I never want to have to clean white trim again. <laughs> but it is hard finding the right color. So he's got a great base coat on. We're going to give him all the love in a little bit. So he's, you know what I'm noticing is he's got a lot of junk in the trunk for the size of his ears. Do you guys think I should go a little bit bigger on his ears? How about you, Sid? Let me see. Maybe this one, go a little bit taller. Yeah. Because he looked like he ate all, we're going to call him Cadbury. He ate all the eggs in the basket. <laughs> we had a Cadbury. We did have a bunny named Cadbury. Because my youngest daughter is so smart and snarky, she just named him Cadbury after the Cadbury bunny. A little taller? Or is that good? What color? Blue. Yeah, that's probably. Okay. Is that good? A little taller? No, I think that's good. I'm asking because I'm really close up to it and it's hard for me to see as much. Cute. I feel like he could almost be a little puffier in the face. I wasn't joking when I said I was a chubby chaser. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mother. It's a good day when you can embarrass your kids. Like their chocolate. We like chocolate. Big fat chocolate. Sure. <laughs> All right. Some milk duds. All right. Going to clean my brushes super fast. All right. So my flowers are still drying. What I can do is I can start some detail work on him, but he is pretty wet. I'm just going to start outlining them. Get them ready to go. So I'm going to get myself a decent, but not my best, uh, round paintbrush. Oh, yep, not that one. <laughs> okay, I should have laid it out first. Oh, that is my best. Here we go. Um, some people can do a really good job with using just the side of three-quarter flat. Um, it just depends. Um, on my day and three-quarter flat. So I'm going to, what are you needing? The glitter. I gave it to you. I have that There's one. I don't one. have the other one. The other one's in a bag. It's bag glitter. Oh. Um, you guys know, if you've been following me, that when I do um, outlining, I like to use golden fluid acrylic. Um, you just need a little bit, and it's good to go. So if I find my outline is too fat, I may power down to, oh, no, it's good. Let's do that. Go around. I like golden fluid acrylics for outline because it's already, you know, thinned down for you. Super cute. And I'm going to go ahead and do my bunny ear where it's connected. He's floppy. So you should never have to scrub on your outline. If you're going um, and you can hear it, your paint needs to be thinned a bit. Dude, do it that way. He's just kind of a whimsical, fun guy. So I hope when you look at him, you see how funny he is. And you're like, I want to put him on my front porch. So you can just watch the video and, you know, do this yourself. I am going to paint my bow a different color, but I want to outline him right now. Um, or, it, you know, if you're from Spokane, which is where we live now, we can come to you and teach you how to do this. Or... If you're in Maple Valley, Covington, Kent, whatever, we're there once a month or so. We could schedule a party. Super cute. So adorable. Okay, I'm going to clean my paintbrush. And my rhinoculuses did dry on top, so I'm going to go ahead and give them a coat with the color. No white this time. Yep, that's what I'm talking about. And you want to be pretty generous. I'm scooping and painting.
I'm trying to think, what did I use? Oh, I used Filbert. I should have used my round paintbrush. It holds more paint. So these are just big fluffy clouds. We're gonna make them into kind of peony looking um, flowers that were inspired by our painting that uh, painting in the paint kit that's called our buddy box for Easter. There's only like five left. We're happy to send you one. Um, we're hoping to get them out tomorrow at the latest. We might still be able to do today. It'd be an Easter miracle, but it could happen. You know, <laughs> there's just something to do every day. This pink is gorgeous. Or you can say, hey, Kelly Sue, um, I'd like to stop and get some. Well, we live in Spokane now, so we're happy to serve you if you live here. <laughs> Otherwise, um, I think shipping's about $7.50 for like, um, it's including, included in the bunny box because we just included it in the price. Um, but for the canvas, you know, for like four of them, if you wanted four of them, it'd be $7.50. Actually, it's based on weight, so whether you, you bought one or four, the shipping would be the same, so why not grab four? <laughs> Ta-da! We have a free painting coming up in a couple weeks. Can I have the hummingbird painting real quick? So I hope you all can join us. That's our colorful hummingbird painting. Just a freebie. We'll create an event for it very soon. I just got a little behind. Okay, let's do the inside of the ears. I did magenta and white. If you find that your black is not dry, you know, take a second and dry it. Mine's pretty good. We're hoping to go to my mother-in-law's for Easter. Kathy, if you're watching, surprise! She always hides the eggs. What do you think? What color bow should he have, Sid? Purple. Purple? Purple. Um, the words are going to be purple. Can I talk into like a dark blue? Or, Why do you like uh, dark blue so much? Huh? Why do you like dark blue so much? I don't know. Where did I put dark blue? I don't know. You kept talking about having something dark blue. No, I meant like turquoise for my walls. You could do red. Oh, yes. Oh, or I could do a really light teal, but that wouldn't be very, very blingy. I'm just going to say right now, putting glitter on top of glue is very satisfying. It is. You want a red? You want a red? I want a red. Bow tie. Okay. So let me see if I can find, yep, there it is, Tuscan Red. I'm gonna or a bright yellow. Oh, okay, so yellow is not a very good covering. Vito. Vito ain't that one. Ooh, this is going to be bright. And I'll go in with polka dots. We're going to polka dots today, aren't we? I may have to give it two coats. Who knows? The white goes, uh, shows through the red and makes it look a little, you know, on the pink side. Is this everything you thought it would be, Sid? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's very cute. I feel like it's almost a snowman and I, I'm tempted to put <laughs> the tummy, um, the belly buttons uh, that you would put on a snowman is that um, cool. The cool buttons or just the buttons. Going around the corner. Now remember, I'm not done with this bow tie. To you, it might look obnoxious. We're gonna tone it down or kick it up. You never know. So, so far I haven't had to go to the blow dryer, but I'm probably gonna have to soon. So my black's mixing in a little bit, and that's okay, it's adding some shading. So if you guys have not heard, we're taking signups right now for our adult art subscription box. It's gonna open up, is it this week? Yes, 
It'll open up later this week to our wait list. And if it sells out, it's only limited spots because we're gonna start small, guys. Okay, we gotta be able to <laughs> we gotta be able to service everybody. So if we um I know if we sell all the spots for our wait list. Um, the news just have to wait till the next time we open up. Okay, so we have this cute, cute bow tie. You glitter bombed me. I did? How did I do that? It exploded when I opened it. Let's do some eyes and nose. Oh, before we do that, I'm going to do the ranunculuses down here. And that's these peony cloud like flowers. I'm going to do white with a little bit of pink. And we could kind of copy that same pattern, but have it swing this way. I'm just going to do this ginormous cloud. It's kind of a chunky, blobby flower. And let's see, I did, I'm going to do kind of a backwards design. I'm going to do... Instead of orange, pink, orange, pink, well, I'm going to do pink, orange, pink, orange. And this one here is not going to show very well. Orange. Oh, wait. I'm good. So by keeping on the bunny body, um, that one coat's probably going to be pretty good. So I wanted to use craft paint for like the flowers and the details. It just has a little bit better coverage. Okay, so I'm going to let those dry while I put in a space and come back, paint those again, add the little um, bits that make it the ranunculuses. I almost kind of love the softer pink versus the darker pink. So hold on just a second. Because it's not quite dry yet. It's kind of in the sticky, icky stages. I'm going to just race this through. Nice. Now it's a little softer. So I was going to do spring with purple with some Highlighting on the letters. What color should I do the hello? Black? I thought you were going to do purple. No, I'm going to do spring and purple. But then I have a hello also. Hot pink. Okay. Teal? Let me see if I can find a hot pink that will complement these. Okay, real quick. I want to do the same with the white. Now, if you're just joining us, because we know you guys like to hop on and hop off, and if you want to watch it again, you'll watch it later. Um, we're painting a spring bunny porch liner, um, kind of in the same style of our bunny box bunny. And this is a box that comes to your house. Get some white. Um, and you get the bunny canvas already pre-drawn. You make it easy. The wood bunny and stand and the bow and two ceramic Easter, they're called duck eggs. They're bigger. One for you to keep and one for you to give away. For $65, it includes shipping. And we only have like five left. Unless somebody's commenting here. So if you want one, just comment or reach out with, um, okay, so I kind of went the wrong direction with that orange. So teach a moment. It's acrylic paint. Let it dry and go over it. I'm not going to break down and stop teaching because it didn't work out the way I wanted. So do you sell this in a box or by itself? This? Yeah. I don't sell this at all. It's a freebie class. So now you can do it yourself unless you want to, if you live in Spokane and you want me to come to you, or if you live in Maple Valley, I'll be there, but it'll be after Easter. So you'll have to maybe pick one of our summer themes instead. I'm just showing you how to do this. You're just joining because you like to have fun. All right. So let's talk about the face. 
Do we have big bunny eyes or little bunny eyes? Big. Big bunny eyes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to use my glue and acrylics, guys, because one and done on that. Whoops, what oh, I got it on my great shirt. Me and Sydney are twinsies today. Not anymore. I took off. Oh, did you change your shirt? Yeah, so I could do the paint so I wouldn't stain it. So she took off her favorite shirt so she didn't stain it. Why did you tell me these this wonderful words of wisdom? Well, you know. I just did ovals. I kept it pretty simple. So I'm just going to do the same thing. Let's decide where we want the nose. Oops, not with that paintbrush. My nose is this kind of an elongated heart nose. I'm going to run into one of the sides, one of the rails, but it's okay. Oops. Whew. Getting big. It's like a haircut. You adjust the side, then you go to the other side. <laughs> it's completely fine. I'm just going to try to get in there. And I'll smear a little bit, but when I paint the inside, it will um, fill that in because it'll be pink. Okay, eyes, right, pr they're pretty close on this side. You wanted them bigger. That's what you said. Who are you talking to? You, you said big eyes. Oh yeah. It's a big bunny, it's a big ass. And he's gonna look like a zombie until we put the eye shine and the little juices in there. Okay, so pretty close to the end. I got this board right in my way. Of course I do. Hard to paint this side, I might have to make adjustments. Okay, so one eye is way bigger than the other. Sydney would be happy. Because now I have to go bigger. Are you saying that because I have one eye bigger than the other? <laughs> We're just wearing our sins out there for everyone to see. It's a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. Like a Mac Daddy of the eyes, right there. Super cute. I'm gonna let the nose dry. Then I'll come in with my black, or I'm sorry, with my pink. I'm gonna go straight down, swing this way, swing this way. Okay, everyone has a sweet spot. A way that your mouth or your hand will turn. That one was not my sweet spot. Give them some whiskers. All right, just watering down my paint because it's getting thick. One. Okay, a little bit more. Two. He's so cute. Even with that zombie look he's got. And let's go ahead and fill in his nose. I'm just going to do the magenta and white. If you want to know exactly what paint color it is, it's Deco Art. It's Royal Fuchsia. But the magenta that you would get from, like, a Liquitex would be very identical. Just not the quinacrinum magenta, which is just kind of fun to say. Go ahead and say that, Sid. Monocular. Quinic quinicular. <laughs> Super fun. So I got a little away from myself because I'm talking and painting. I will fix the nose in a minute. Don't worry about that. All right, let's talk about making these flowers pop. So I'm gonna grab some more. My plate is disgusting. So I'm gonna need a little purple. And I used a little bit of, oh, I got Tuscan Red already. So I'm using Deco Art Diox Dioxazine, Dioxazine, sorry. Nope, Dioxazine Purple, it's hard to say. It's up there with Quinacrinum. Quinacrinum, okay. So all we're gonna do is this, guys, and it's super easy, and just watch for a second. So I'm going to take 
and swish in some orange. And then I'm going to come in and just do, and it's just, we're just doing these smiles all the way around. Well, at the top, they're more like frowns, right? So right now I'm using the orange. So if you like the flower light, you don't have to add any more orange. How easy is that? That's one color. They're going to come alive when we add more colors. I didn't swish a lot in there. Mm, should we use some more orange? Always. Okay, so I mainly use the purple in the binoculars flower that um, looks very much like a peony. Starting to come together. You guys can see that. You can do some white. You can let it dry. You guys aren't going to stick around when I blow dry about 100 times today. So if I was doing this in a party, we would let them dry by going to the hair dryer. Just putting these frowns and circles all over. And if you have questions, sorry, I can't talk to you right now. I'm painting and Sydney normally mans the um, computer, but she is getting some kits ready to go out. Okay, we are really behind. Oh, so Jamie wants to know, do we sell the porch one? Well, we don't live there anymore, Jamie, so it's really, it would be really expensive for you to um, ship this. Um, so what you can do is if you're a fella, if you have a fella or, you know, um, someone, maybe it's you, is really handy with um, a screwdriver or a power tool, um, you can cut these down to size. I was thinking maybe I'd have Mr. John show you guys how to make them. There's places you could go to buy them, but they're kind of spendy. Um, super cute. I'm going to go in with purple. Okay, wipe the orange off, people. I'm going to go in there with some purple. Put some purple smiles in the pink. I'm going to call them a peony because it's hard to say binoculars. And then we're going to put some pink in the orange. Now, I don't stop there. You guys see I'm not over mixing. I'm just brushing it in and moving on. So I don't stop there. I take a big scoop of like the orange and I put a center in the pink. It's pretty simple. So let's do red in the center of the orange. It's kind of chunky painting. We're missing one. Oops, I need some more orange. The problem with these little paints is you run out of paint so fast. These little jars just don't get me through when it's a big project. You can also just do black in the center. That would be kind of cool too. And we're going to put a little white in the center in a minute. They're coming together and it's just this easy build. So while I'm here, I think I could sneak a little bit more pink on my nose and fix that boo boo. So, porch cleaners are always fun, and we tried really hard to have a party at Vintage Vino because um, you know I love to teach at that wine bar um, before. Hi, who's coming in? Come on in. Come on, come on. <laughs> no, be scared. Um, I tried really hard to teach this before we moved, but um, it was just impossible with um, the restrictions the way they were. But like I said, I have a great summer one. Ta -da. All right, so let's go ahead and take some black and do any adjustments we need to do around the bunny. I think the nose could use a little bit more love. 
and we're just it's all about building up these layers I'm not loving the black and how it's showing in the gold in the red right now so I'm just gonna cover it up and keep in mind when you put your sealer on your porch cleaner that this guy's gonna get super brilliant all these colors that look a little dull right now they're gonna be amazing Once you can put some red, let me just try it. Put a little red in my peonies. Make them a little crazy. Help, help them stand out just a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to take some black on my peonies. And I'm going to do a real thin outline on them. Maybe put a center in and you don't have to do this if you're not an outline person if you're not in love with it that's fine you could skip it and it looks super obnoxious right now but it will dry and it will dull a little bit get the same thing down here so what colored polka dots would we put in the bunny tie? Should we do like a lime green, Sid? No, let's do Christmassy. It, it is Christmassy, white. you're right. Well, it's already got a lot of white on it. How about teal? Sure. I have a really light one, like an like aqua. Sure. It's super cute. Now you can skip the black outline. A lot of people love it. A lot of people don't. It doesn't hurt my feelings either way. I'm going to get, you know what I should get? Hmm. You want to do one and done on the white also. So I like my Liquitex white. It, oh, I'm so, sorry. Golden fluid acrylic um, white. That way it's one and done. It's just the pigment. Oops, that was a waste. The pigment is just really intense. And I really like what we did on these eyes, which was a dot and then commas. Let's see how we do. So you can use, to get a perfect circle or a perfect dot, you can use the back side of the paintbrush. Let's do a big one. The big Mac Daddy. And it goes right at the tippy top. Of course, of course I picked a spot that there was, you know, the natural wood partition. So I'm going to have to fake it on the other side just a little bit. And all I'm going to do is come down the side. Press hard and kind of pull back. Press hard and pull back. All right, I'm gonna do a little quick outlining before I come in with my teal. He's coming together so cute, guys. I always forget to wipe those off. Okay, so let me find, so what do you think of this, Sid? Of what? This one on the red? Is that too matchy-match with the background? A little bit, but I think it'd be cute. I could put the dark, I still I could do the dark blues. No, I How like about the lighter. The lighter with maybe dark blue center. Sure. Okay. So let's make it fun. So if you're doing this at home and you don't mind getting messy, you can help your family members put the dots in the bow tie. You know, so it's, you know, part of you. It's very noticeable when you need more paint. Your kids have been watching you paint your bunny and they want to get in. Well, you can order them a bunny box or you can just let them get involved with the dot process. This is paint. 
right? It's just pink. I'm kind of loving this this blue though. I feel Maybe like just leave it like that then. I feel like it needs a little a little something inside. But I was thinking, just thinking, I might like the blue up here. Oop, yeah, sure do. So what's this blue called? It's Deco Art again, and it's Bahama Blue, and that's why I love it. Raise your hand if you're ready to go to the beach. <laughs> it was snowing here today. Yeah, we had a little snow. We had two moose last night and snow this morning. Okay, so they're exploded. They totally exploded with color. That has, I have, I'm an artist, I'm an art teacher, but I tend to more is better and I have to remember my basic rule is if you're and I learned this from my grandma too if you have to ask yourself if you need more you probably should stop um, that being said I'm not very neat <laughs> I'm gonna put some dark blue little blobs inside my fingerprints again q-tip and a little kid they would always remember when they helped mom or grandma or auntie make this and every year it comes out. Guys, it's about memories, making memories. What do you think about that, Sid? It looks really cute. Adore. It's adorable. What you could do is if you wanted to, you could come back and outline those, but I don't want to. I'm not going to do it. So we're hopeful that everything dried enough that we can start stenciling. So I'm going to need a new plate for that. You could stencil with a stenciling brush. You can stencil with a paint brush, but I just find like the bigger foam brushes and of course they're packed away. Oh, here's one. The bigger foam brushes work pretty good. Now remember stenciling is not a perfect art form. Now, I'm not a fan of using the sticky stencils on um, paint that I just painted. Remember, it's a little bit different when it's heavier and thicker because it pulls up your, your paint. So instead, I like the reusable stencils. So how much did this pack cost? Um, like $18, maybe. And you get this Hello, it's really cute, and you get all the letters and this would be great for a um, Girl Scout troop. Now I don't, I'm not, um, what do you call it, an affiliate. I don't get an affiliate fee uh, or reimbursement, but I just think it's a really good product, Essential Stencils, and you should consider purchasing one. almost want to put the hell up there. Is that too crowdy, Sid? Yes. So down here, okay. So let's, gonna, I'm going to start laying this out. I'm going to go a little bit lower than my mark and hope that I can make it because my flower is still wet. I'm just going to lay this out. Once it's down, you don't want to be playing with it. I just want to, I just want to see. Hey, Sid, can I get help for a sec? Yep. Yes, ma'am. I just don't lay this down because that paint's still wet. I just want to see if you line it up with this. Can you see all the G? Don't lay down. I'm not. Oh, you did. Oh. You're going to have to wipe that off. Okay. So I'm actually going to have to go up to my mark. I knew I was going to have to. So you can pick any color you want. I'm going to pick purple. And I think I'm cooking. Oh, duh. Just line it up with that. So what you can do, Sydney, is now you can just lay it down unless you want me to. Unless you're nervous. Lay it down straight with that line there. Yep. Oops, don't, don't smoosh it. Okay, perfect. So it's pretty simple to stencil. I was going to do purple. Dioxazine purple. And you'll notice there's a difference between... Hmm, where's my purple? Right here. Um, like an artist dioxazine and it doesn't look like it, but it is. And um, craft paint. So it's a little lighter. So what I want to do is 
kind of mix them. I feel like that's probably going to be too light. I want the hello or the spring to be bam, very noticeable. Ooh. And you want your paint to be a little flowy, not so thick. So what am I going to do? I am going to thin it down just a smidge by putting water on my sponge. So the important thing to know is you bounce on and bounce off. I want to use both those colors, kind of loosely mix them, and I'm going to use a lot. So bounce on, bounce off. Hello, Sean. And just keep in mind, I'm holding it in place so not as much paint will fit underneath, but you're going to have a little bleeding. It's just the way it is. We're going to do a little outlining on the letters to minimize that. And remember, Sydney's just putting together some kits real quick. Sorry. Well, it's fine. We gotta do business. <laughs> we gotta still do the business. Oops, that's probably not good. That fucked a lot. Okay, and the best way to clean these is right away, which I can't do it. Oops. You will take them to the sink and spray them off. So they're super easy to clean from Essential Stencil. Okay, here we go. What a cute name. It's hard to say. <laughs> it is. Okay, I think they're in Texas. They <laughs> were out of the stencil, but I heard a rumor that they got it back in. Uh, the lady does a lot of Facebook, and she has a lot of guest Facebookers. And um, they're just a fun, crafty place. Doesn't always have to be fine art. Let's just do fun art, guys. I feel like fine art is for my after school art club. Oops. Hold it, don't let it bounce. All right, here we go. Ta da! Looking good. It'll look better. Hey, Sean, are you still there? It'll look better after the outline it. This is just a a natural part of the process. Ooh, I'm gonna cover up my really cute flop. Oh, I'm bummed. That's okay. That's okay. It all works out. So you see I'm bouncing, I bounced on, I'm bouncing off, I'm holding my stencil very tightly to the board. This is an old fashioned art form, so my R isn't all the way on. I did not notice, nor is my N, nor is my J. I was just trying really hard not to cover up my my bunny. I think I can fix that with um, outlining. My first round of stenciling was when I was in college. I went to York Christian College in Nebraska for one semester. No, I went a whole year. Um, I, I, I was bad. <laughs> it's hard for me to conform. Um, and so I did something that didn't seem obnoxiously wrong. And I was, you know, put in my door. My, oops. And um, I got bored. So what did I do? I cut some paper and stenciled my wall. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> and yes, you can create your own stencils from paper. Oh, I wonder if I can sneak just a little bit that direction. And remember, you want to get the paint off of your stencils right away. I'm almost tempted to pay one of my kids to do it while I'm teaching. So um, I think we can all agree that the spring is really dark, but I'm going to highlight it in just a second with that same teal or turquoise, that Bahama blue. That was fantastic. And my N is not, you know, I didn't get all my N. It's okay. All right. Hindsight. Bounce on, bounce off. Going for the G. I'm going for the goodness. 
Sorry about the bed head today. <laughs> I should, I technically should be wearing a hat. What do you call it, Sid, when you end up wearing a hat because you didn't, um, you didn't um, do the big wash on the hair? What do you call it? A lazy day. She calls it some, something. I can't remember what it is. I do? Yeah, when you wear hats, you say... It's not my wash day? Something like that. It was a wash day. As you get older, you can't wash your hair every day. You're not supposed to. It strips your hair of the natural oils. See? See? Okay. Ta-da. Ooh, I love it. Essential stencil for the win. Do you see it, Sid? Do you see it? Uh-huh. Are you good? Can I talk? <laughs> It's beautiful. So, but I think we can all agree we could we can highlight that a little bit so that it pops a bit. And Sydney, would you do? So I'm gonna put hello right here, kind of crookedy. Hello spring. I think I just should I use black on the hello? No. I want something bright. Okay. Um, I don't want red. I don't want yellow would be a miserable. I could do um, that green. Oh, I have to do leaves anyway. I could do the green or is it not gonna show? We can let, we can let you guys decide. What about white? Mm, I think too contrasty. Okay, then that green looks good. Or this wouldn't show very well. No, Wait, this green. green, this one here. Are they not the same? They're not. Besides, I don't have enough of that. That's an enamel. So this is Deco Art Sour Apple. Yum. Uh, but before I do that, I am going to highlight my letters a little bit. If you watch my snowman, um, some of you guys watched that. You saw that we just kind of came in and we fixed boo-boos with, um, with more boo-boos. With more boo-boos. No, with highlighting. So that they stand up just a little bit more. You could do this with black. And you kind of have to decide, are you going to outline the tops or the bottoms of things? So I'm going to do the inside. So that would be the tops. So here we go. And it's kind of popping. It's kind of popping, you guys. It's looking good. I'm gonna do the outside. And I'm just placing my finger down to hold my hand steady. It's a little trick. So I don't want to do the inside and the outside. That was hard. I'm gonna do the inside. Keep a wet wipe handy. Who knew we were gonna use wet wipes so much when we were done wiping bums? Excuse me. Yeah, you think, oh, I'm going to be out of that diaper phase. I never have to buy another wet, wet wipe. And then you start crafting and start painting. And so then you do again. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just do the, I'm going to do the bottom. I probably shouldn't have done the bottom. I don't like the bottom. I'm going to do the top. Just kind of get in, get in. I'm going to do the outside, right? I did the outside. Woo. And remember, your paint has to dry. Do the inside. Super cute. Now I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the inside. So I did the left. I did the left. I did the left. So it's kind of what I'm doing here. I'm gonna do the top. this side. Well, I had to do something today because my printer died and I can't get any further without my printer. Ta -da -ta -da. So I'm going to do the bottom and do the top. Bottom. And 
you'll do a lot better than me because I'm trying to paint to the side so you guys can see. Ooh, that teal really helped the spring pop. Go on the top. Gonna give it an outside. Top again. We're so close. I wonder if my mom wants this or my mother-in-law wants this. Same thing, clean plate. I can, okay, I learned my lesson, deco art. I actually don't use craft paints a lot, and so it's not deco art's fault. Because Lord knows they're not hanging on the shelf. I'll probably outline this with something bright. I'm going to use a smaller sponge. Bounce on, bounce off. Is that the garage door opener? Mm -hmm. Or the garage door? Yeah, that's it's just kind of obnoxious. Can you guys hear that? It's something from the movie Clue. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> so it's coming along really good. It's important to take your stencil straight up. So get under it and straight up. Maybe I'm going to outline that with black actually. I'm getting all those stencils dirty. Where's my good black? You guys know which one I'm talking about. I mean, over here. Golden fluid, so, uh, golden fluid acrylics. You only need a little bit. This $12 bottle with your 50% off coupon goes a long way. Let's get over here. Super cute. You feel like I need silver or anything on the boat, Sid? Mm, no, because then I feel like it'll be way too busy. I don't want to outline everything. Go to the bottom. I did the bottom. Okay, I don't understand how they slam a car door and the whole table shook. Oh, that's right underneath you? It's okay, it's right underneath me. I'll buy that. But the house is pretty sturdy, so I'm just a little surprised. You know, white would look really good on this too as an outline. So I may double outline it, but it won't be won't be now. And I really like my outlines to dry to see what I get. I'm really liking it. I almost feel like we need to have a little something happening in there, something else, something with a little blam of color. Oh, leaves. We gotta have us uh, some leaves. So I got some blue. And I know we got some yellow somewhere. Oops, that's not working up blue people. But I probably just have green paint. I do. Yep. <laughs> no, you can't throw those out. Some dark green. I actually prefer to make my own green. So hold on a second. Let's do some yellow. The lemon yellow. And hey, do you have um do you have phthalo? 
green, blue. blue. Green, blue. Blue, yes. Some pretty light yarn. I'm just gonna make my own. I want a nice big round brush. This one's been loved a lot. A lot, a lot. And let's just sneak in some um, leaves. Yeah, mixing with um, craft paint isn't the best. Where's my cad yellow? Do you have that? I uh, don't know what that is. I got that. Because it's a formulated color, it doesn't always behave the way you think it should behave. Okay, so phthalo blue and cad yellow, and it's gorgeous. I'm gonna just come in here and put in some leaves. This is the first coat of leaves, so of course, it's not highlighted yet. So we're gonna come back and highlight them. Oh, so pretty. So all I'm doing is a frown and a smile. I'm filling them in if I have to. And I'm going to put two here, a big one and a little one. Looking good, maybe put two here. And what you can do is come back and highlight them with some yellow. When it's wet, see how that's popping? So pretty. And then the ones on the bottom. Like I said, it doesn't take a very long time to make these porch cleaners, but you would make someone super happy <laughs> by creating your own, either by following my design or someone else's. In fact, this isn't my design. We belong. I belong to a group of other ladies, and oops, that was a splatter. But I, I did change a few things. Let's see. One, two. I didn't decide if I want one. Oh, well, too late. I put it. I put it at the end. Okay, come in with the yellow. So the thing about art, you might start off with somebody else's design, but your own personality will um, come through and you will make changes that makes it your own. What do you think, Sid? Beautiful, darling. Beautiful. Beautiful. So you could take this time and put more flowers if you wanted to or do something more with his uh, bow tie. But I think he's really cute. Let me just put all these things away. <laughs> it's like a tornado went through here. Clean those, those back, and I will show you what we got. What we got. And so remember, we took our bunny box as inspiration. And our bunny box has the um, traced bunny, the wood bunny, and two duck eggs, one to keep and one to give away. With all the paint and the um, tutorial. You don't have to get a tutorial for the um, duck eggs. You just kind of go for it. What do you think? Super cute? So if you're going to be putting this on your porch, there's one final step. And you can either use, really? Here it is. There's one final step. You can use triple thick crystal clear spray from Kylon, or you can use um, the polycrylic. I just prefer a high gloss, so this is Minwax Polycrylic, and you just spray it a couple times after it dries. I just personally like the high gloss on this puppy. It just changes everything. It makes everything deeper and intense, and the light colors show up better. So real quick, I want to say bye. Thanks for joining us today while we painted our spring um, bunny porch cleaner. Four foot tall, so he's not. I'm not painting the big ones, guys. 
um, but I don't have the attention span. <laughs> uh, thanks for joining me. I'm Miss Kelly Sue with Cleopatra Art Studios, where we teach kids and families how to paint and create together. Have a good day. Bye.